Hey guys, uh, it's Andrew, and I'm back with uh, another video for the newest version of Logic Pro. I just wanted to highlight some of the new tools, and in this video I'll be discussing the drummer tool. Uh, it's a great tool for songwriters or people who just want to jam and have interesting drum tracks who don't want to spend time sequencing. So I put together this short, short little piece, just kind of a drum groove with a little bass groove and then a guitar lick over the top. Very simple. Let me play it for you, and then I, sh I will show you how I can use the drummer tool to make this a lot better. Okay, you get the picture. I am going to mute my drum track and I'm going to add a new drummer track. And it brings up this funny looking MIDI waveform. And I will drag that out for the duration of the project. First off, I'm going to slice it here and slice it here and I'll show you why in a second. I just, that's where I want some of the changes to occur. Okay. When you click on one of these sections, sorry about that. When I click on one of the sections of this MIDI file, it will select and bring up this menu down on the bottom of the screen. As you can see, it's selected the rock track with the SoCal kit. Now all those are changeable. For instance, if I don't want rock, there's alternative songwriter R&B. Uh, and then if I click on the kit, I can customize what part of the kit does what. So if I don't like this particular kick pedal, uh, this bass drum, I can change it to one that hits a little harder. So I'll change it to that one. You can also change the kit entirely, but I'm just going to leave it where it is. And then you can mess with the dials on the right. Pretty self-explanatory as for what they do. Okay. Under the rock setting, uh, I'm using, it defaults to this, uh, the preset half pipe, and I'm just going to keep it where it is. If I select a track. I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in a little bit for you on this one. If I select a section or a track, this XY box down here on the left says simple, on the right says complex, on the top says loud, on the bottom says soft. Depending on where I move this ball, it will combine those different elements and make a new drum pattern. So if I make it extremely loud and extremely complex, there's lots of little, um, lots of little MIDI MIDI triggers in there, but if I drag it down to soft and simple, it's, it's, it's more sparse. So pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, to the right, you can deselect different instruments. So right now, I have turned off the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. And so there's no percussion, there's only fills. This fills bar, d depending how high or low it is, determines the frequency and the intensity of the various fills in the various genre. Same with the swing. I, I'm just going to leave swing off because this is just a very straightforward rock drum beat. So to start, I'm going to turn off all the elements, and I'm going to have just a fill, and we'll hear what this sounds like. Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, we'll move on to the next section. The next section I want not too much going on in the kit, but I want just a straightforward rock beat for, um, this is, yeah, this is four measures. So we'll hear what this sounds like and then we'll decide how we want to change it. I actually like that where it is you could go in, theoretically, and change the frequency of the kick and the snare. Uh, I'm going to change the hi-hat to 3 to show you an example, and this is what it sounds like on the 3 setting. Versus the 2. It's a subtle difference, but the, the offbeat of the hi-hat is a little bit more accentuated on the 3rd setting, so there's more presence to it. If I wanted to, I could add various percussion up here, There's clapping in the background, a little louder, let's turn off, let's turn off the clapping, let's add it like a shaker or something. Let's turn on to the one, 
Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, we'll go to make it a little bit louder. That'll change the fill. I like that one. Okay. Now we'll go to the last setting where the groove settles in and it's finally at its loudest. We'll turn it up so we have some cool fills. We'll, we'll put it about there. And I will up the frequency of the hi-hat and I will turn the shaker on to the second setting. We'll hear how this sounds. Okay, I like that. So there you have it. I just made an entirely new drum beat for um, my short, dinky little piece here. And now let's hear what it sounds like. have it. It's a really cool tool, like I said, for songwriters who just want to lay down a quick drum track or people just want to jam. Um, very powerful, very fun to use. I'm excited to go through and see all the presets, hear what I like, hear what I don't like, and sift through it so I know what to do when I need to use it. As I said, you can just move kits in and out, change the different um, the snares, the kick, pedals, whatever you want. Uh, it's a very cool new feature. Um, so yeah, hope you guys get a chance to use this sometime in the near future. I'm sure, with uh, as with most programs on the release, there will be updates slowly over time, and it'll just keep getting better and better. But right now, I really like where uh, the new Logic Pro is heading. All right, happy composing. Talk to you later.